just get pay our bills. Hi, I, I heard I can come in um, to, to talk okay. about to talk about my options for termination. Okay. I'll just make sure the phone is on silent or vibrate. You can do that after point. Okay. I'll check in with the girls at the front desk. Thank you. Go ahead if you want your eyes to find in, yeah. They said you had walk-in preg like pregnancy counseling for ten dollars or something. For pregnancy test? For pregnancy like counseling on my options. Yeah. Sure do. Yeah. Great. Go ahead and sign in. Thanks.
Christ. For income, do you want to? And that you can just estimate. Like my my family income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's about there. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much.
Sorry? Yeah, I think like or they're fake cork or something. <laughs> I don't know if they're real. Thank you. They kinda hurt after a little while though. Yeah. I don't wear high heels. <laughs> I used to. Yeah. 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 Ye
You do, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it every now and then. <laughs> yeah, just when you have to. <laughs>
Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, what's your number? Sorry? Your date of birth? 5 18 73. My name is Rebecca, I'm going to be here. Okay. Hi, I'm Rebecca, I'm going to be here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so as soon as you're finished, okay. just place it right in here. Just make sure that the door shuts all the way. And then you can have a seat in one of these gray chairs out here and I'll come and get you. Okay? Alright, great. Thank you. Okay. Alright,
have a seat Hi, here. Thanks. So, yes, you're pregnant. Okay, that's what I thought, yeah. And so, what are you leaning more towards? I see that you say that you want to terminate if it's a girl, so are you just wanting to continue the pregnancy um, in the meantime, or what? Yeah, I think that would be the, um, the plan I... Uh, well, okay, when I went to get the pregnancy test at the, the pharmacy, mm -hmm. I also saw a... Um, they have these, like, gender tests, too. And I took it, and it said a girl. Um, but the thing is, I'm not sure how accurate those are. Do you know anything about those things? I didn't even know they had anything like that. That's, like, the first time I heard it. I just, just, like, noticed I was, like, scanning the wow. pregnancy tests and all that. So it goes by your urine? It goes by your urine, yeah. Wow. So the package said 80% effect or whatever, not effective, but, like, 80% mm -hmm. chance that it's accurate so I guess one of the things I wanted to talk about in terms of the termination do you th is it uh, we want to get pregnant again after as soon as we can obviously because we're trying for that boy mm -hmm. so if I if I waited to be to check the gender would that be would the termination then be more dangerous to me or anything like that it, it, it's not more dangerous I mean there are risks okay. um, let me see your last Sure yeah, like, February. yeah, it might have been the very tail end of January, but. So right now that puts you at 10 weeks tomorrow. The, the uh, abortion covers you up until 23 weeks. Okay. So it's a little over five months. Little. Okay. And usually at five months is usually when they detect, you know, whether or not it's a boy or a girl. I see. So you would be like right. Right Sometimes there. they can tell four. Uh, I mean, I've seen that happen, but it just depends. Depends. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, is that something you do here? Like, um, no, we don't do anything. I mean, we do ultrasounds, but not, you know, to determine whether or not it's a boy or girl. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do that, um, and I'm pretty sure that they could probably tell you. I haven't. But I don't see why not. They're doing the ultrasound. If they can see that if it's a boy or girl, they'll do it. But I, we've never had anybody just come in just for that. Just for that. You know, but I don't see why not. Do you think I? There was some friends and different people who have like I. I feel like I've been experiencing a little bit of judgment because they know that, you know, because I kind of said we would, yeah, and that basically, you know, if it's a girl that my husband and I are just we we want to I already have a girl so and we want a boy and a girl, mm -hmm. and um, so I feel like worried that, you know, I mean, do you know a doctor who could, who do you think I should go and just ask for an ultrasound and just not tell them that I'm going to terminate if it's a girl or I just feel like there's been some judgment for my um I mean to be honest with you um I would probably think so just because I mean we've had even uh clinicians I mean regular doctors that actually have even told women you know you can't go and terminate after your 16 weeks you know which is not true but um you know they a lot of doctors, you know, they'll place judgment because of the fact that the brain is already developed. Every a lot, of, you know, a lot, pretty much everything's already developed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for you to go and terminate, you know, so you know, usually we tell them, you know, you don't actually have to say what you're going to go do, you know, but you can go to a, a an OBGYN, start seeing an OBGYN, and and go through the whole thing. Then, you know, once you stop, you just stop going to you know, that OBGYN. Right, OBGYN. just stop going once I right. terminate. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, personally, from experience, I, I have done that. Okay. So I have actually applied for Medicaid, got on Medicaid as if I was going to continue my pregnancy, went through the OBGYN, and then me and my husband decided we're going to go ahead and terminate. We terminated, and I still stayed on Medicaid um, and just got on birth control right after I got on birth control. Okay. I just stopped using it. Right. Didn't even want it anymore. I didn't use it anymore. <laughs> mm hmm So... Um, so then I could, um, then we could probably, you're, you're thinking like if we did that, 
we could probably get pregnant again soon after. Oh yeah, yeah. I've had two abortions and I have four kids. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> right. so, so I mean, again, again yeah. from experience, yeah. no, okay. there's nothing wrong with being pregnant immediately. Okay, <laughs> all right, <laughs> okay. And do you know any? Do you know any ways that we can try more for a boy? I feel like I don't want to have to have a termination over and over. Right. You know, you know what? That's a hard one. I honestly don't <laughs> okay. know because it took me four times before I had my girl. <laughs> I had three. Boys. Oh my gosh! You had the opposite. <laughs> yes, and then my fourth one, we didn't even want it. We were actually going to terminate, mm -hmm. and then we decided not to, and it winded up being my girl. Your and girl. I was just like, wow, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but I mean, I've heard people say that there's like different sex positions, stuff like that. Okay. Um, but to say if it's actually true or accurate or if it actually works, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. From what regular doctors say, it's basically the men. They're the ones who um, choose the gender. So I guess it just depends on what you know what sperm decides to go and, and <laughs> whether it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> so do you think it's hard? It's I hard, yeah. Like me and um, me and my husband want to try one more later and go ahead and have five and, and I want a girl. <laughs> and you want a girl? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I have three boys. <laughs> oh, I have another boy. I don't know what I would do. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I have too many. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, okay, so how many, okay, but how many abortions do you think I could have? in let's say and be s safely because the thing is I'm 38 mm -hmm. so um, like how many do you think I could have and still be confident of getting pregnant again is there a number or to be honest with you at that age I'm not sure I mean the older you get the more of a high risk you are okay um, goodness if you want, I could go and ask somebody who would actually probably know a lot better than me. That would but be... on that part, I really don't know. Let that would be super helpful. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What was your name again? Rebecca. 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 Okay. okay. Thank yes. you. Uh Hi. I'm just going to grab a little pamphlet that's in here. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, no problem. I'm going to steal a bunch so I could take it. I'm sorry. All Okay. Okay. So, um, what I just found out is that basically we're not, they don't do any type of diagnosis. Okay. So we don't diagnose. Um, so we w actually wouldn't even be able to say whether or not it's a boy or girl. We could say if it's one or two, but we can't say if it's a boy or girl. So okay. no matter what, you'd have to go to an OBGYN for that. And then, um, and then also, again, they can't diagnose. So they, I mean, it, they said that. Uh, we couldn't say, you know, how many abortions you could have. Gotcha. As far as, you know. Okay. Because you're, you're trying for your boy, so. Okay. So we would 
the best thing for us would be to look into those ways maybe we could try for the boys. Right. I mean, okay. um, we, I mean, we do offer, like, you know, OBGYN prenatal care. Great. Provider list. And then also, this is just uh, getting pregnancy, like, fact sheets. Okay. Um, you know, it just, it doesn't really just tells you what not to do when you are pregnant. Okay. Well, um, I can just take all that. This is this is really helpful to do you th so these these providers would be more at least more open to mm -hmm. me terminating. Um but do you think I still sh just shouldn't worry about telling them that I'm that I would be terminating if it's a girl, just kind of right. just keep it quiet and then come here. Yeah, I I would I would probably, because more than likely they could even, I mean, they could even refuse to I continue to see you if you're just going to terminate. You gotcha. Know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I see. Um, oh, I'll wait till you're done. This is what you could take. Are you wanting to possibly get on med pregnancy Medicaid to see if you can get like a... Yeah, I would, I'd like to try that out. Okay. Uh, um, we're self-insured because my husband, like, basically is freelance, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we make too much or not, but. Well, you could definitely try. Okay. So I'm going to give you this, too, as well. This is what right. you would take to the Medicaid office. This is basically okay. just proof of pregnancy. Oh, good. Thank you. Um, that's super. Um, I'm trying to think what my other questions were. So, um, okay, the other thing I guess I'm struggling with just more on a personal level is these friends. Like, my hu my husband and his family are just totally supportive mm -hmm. that we want a boy. But I, I feel like I almost need words or something just to tell to my friends about, mm -hmm. I don't know how to articulate that, um, so that they don't judge me for choosing to terminate because of the gender of my baby. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And and the thing is, if I if I do wait like this, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Have you I, mentioned that you they, want to terminate? If it's well, important? they yeah, they pretty much they they pretty much know that. I mean, they pr they know for sure that we're really trying for a boy. I, that I do not want another girl, mm -hmm. and that we just want a boy and a girl. So. Um, I mean, I guess the other thing would be just to say at a miscarriage or something. Right, that's what I was thinking. Um, I mean, the only other thing that... Thank you so much for being so oh, helpful. There's a, a lot of these places that we offer to that, that uh, is free counseling. Oh, awesome. Okay. okay. Um, it might give you, you know, better choices and, and words and, and as far as, you know, your decision. Okay. Uh, but I also want to give you this, too. This is just basically, there's another form I think I gave you. Oh, your pregnancy options. So whenever you do decide, um, this one, like I said, covers you up to 23 weeks. Oh, okay. Okay. And it basically just talks about the procedure. Okay. What happens during. Okay. All right. So if, um, when did you, what well, you kind of said around when you thought they could probably see it on the ultrasound? When you're about five months or even almost five months, they okay. usually can detect and, uh, you know, going by your last menstrual, that's just, just an estimated guess because we're going by your last menstrual. Okay. Um, you would be about 21 weeks. Okay. Can I write that mm -hmm. down on here? Once you're five months, you would be about uh, 21 weeks. And do you have the date that that would be? Um, I'm getting June the 29th. So I could probably see if it was a girl sometime around then, so mm -hmm. I should try to get an appointment for an ultrasound before then. 
because that I'd only have. It's the 20th. I'm the sorry. 20th. June the 22nd, 20 weeks. Okay, I'll just put June 20th just because it's around there. So then I'd want to schedule, um, try to schedule an ultrasound with an OB around then, and then I would still mm -hmm. be able to come back here mm -hmm. for a termination if it was a girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. And, and again, you know, if you go and see an OBGYN, um, you know, pretty soon, and you do an, uh, an ultrasound to see exactly how far along you are, Okay. then you can really detect, okay, this is how far along I am, this is how, this is when I need to, need to you know. Yeah. Uh, this is when I need, uh, when I'll know whether or not it's a boy or girl. Gotcha. Uh, okay. So again, you'll be like 20 weeks. That's five months. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. That is really helpful. Thank you for understanding. You're I, welcome. I was worried that I would get judgment for terminating oh, because no. of the gender and you've been so. No. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, help you as much as possible. To <laughs> so. Thank you. You know, you uh, Thank answer you. all your questions. I hope I did. You I, did. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the things Thank I might you. not be able to. Um, you know, figure out like how to tell your friends. I, I mean, it's I, if me personally, I probably wouldn't have even mentioned it. Just you know, if it if it is a girl, then then I would have just you know right. made it seem like it was a miscarriage or something like that. Right. Um, some things you probably can't be too open because there are people out there that'll place judgment. You know. Yeah. yeah. And then whenever it does happen, it's like you could tell them one thing, but then they might even just think another. Another. But that's. What matters is that you know you have your family. And you have your husband by your side, and he's very supportive. Yeah. And uh, and that's what matters the most, because no matter what, he's who you're gonna have. That's right. <laughs> and the end. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, you know, whether or not they do judge, and, and the, that's pretty much what I can say is just, you know, if they do say anything, just um, you still have your family. <laughs> yes, my boy and my girl. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So just continue and try again. <laughs> okay. All right. So I will call you back, and um, I mean, obviously, if it's a girl, I'll call you back, and right. if not, then. And I'll give you. A, let me give you our card too. Thank just you. So we can have. Um, actually, I forgot the numbers right here. Oh, okay. That you call. Great. Okay. All right. Well, good luck. Thank and, you. And I hope that you do get your boy. And I hope you get your and girl. That, uh, <laughs> that thing that you took over there is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you so much. You're All right. You can go ahead and have a seat right here when he's perfect to the right, and we'll call you here in a bit. Okay. okay. Thanks. Yeah, have a good one. Bye.
I'm going to put it in your account. Tested it? Yes. Okay, it's going to be $22. Do you need a receipt, Susie? I do, thank you. Thank you so much. You're you too. Welcome. Whenever you're ready, the extra stuff. Oh, good. I was going to ask. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. 